Hi guys, my name's Sam and I am a trainer and assessor from ProLifting Cairns and one of the courses I teach is uh, the license to operate a forklift truck. I'm actually coming to you from Hotel Quarantine in WA so I've left the door open here to let some uh, light into this pretty gloomy little room and you probably hear some strange and wonderful noises coming from outside there, trains and buses and trucks and stuff like that, and maybe even a few people fighting because it is Northbridge there. Okay, uh, so what we're trying to achieve today, right? We, uh, the question is, can I lift the following load? So we've got some dimensions there, uh, and that's our problem there. Uh, up here is our data plate, yeah? So um, we've got the data plate here, it says, so lift truck, it's a mother goose forklift truck. Serial number is 007, believe it or not. And the weight is 5,830 kilograms. So we don't need to worry about that for our um, equation today because we're not driving over a bridge or anything like that. And the, the, the brand doesn't really matter. Uh, what we've got though is on the data plate here, you've got the maximum capacity. So what can it lift? Yeah, 7,000 kilos is what it can lift. Uh, and a load height is dimension A, yeah? The load height there uh, is how high it can lift that 7,000 kilos. This one here, load center distance. The load center distance is, uh, according to um, work health and safety and you know, manufacturer's instructions and stuff like that, or your reading materials, it is the distance from the face of the forks to the load's center of gravity. So. The load backrest there, if the, the load is hard up against that load backrest, it is the distance from the center of the load to the load backrest, all right? <clears throat> now the maximum load center distance you can have on this fork is 600 millimeters, okay? If you exceed that, the forklift will tip over. If you exceed this maximum rate of capacity, the forklift will tip over. And if the forklift tips over, you're in a world of shit, all right? Because uh, you may, you'll damage the load, you'll damage the equipment, um, you also may uh, injure somebody else or kill somebody else or kill yourself. Remember, these weigh over five tonnes, so it's three times the weight of a normal car, really. Okay, <clears throat> so load centre distance 600 millimetres. So, why is the load centre distance 600 millimetres? Uh, because generally a pallet in Australia is about 1165 millimetres. And if we uh, have a load center distance of 600 millimeters, the way you work it out is you halve that, yeah? So 1165 millimeters, let's get our calculators here, divided by two equals 582.50 millimeters. So that falls within that load center distance. Now, um, when you're using these calculators, please don't uh, rely on your phone because you can't take that into your exam with you. Uh, and generally you're not allowed them in classrooms either because they're too distracting. So you buy yourself one of these $4 Crazy Clarks uh, dumb calculators, not a smart scientific one, just get a, a very simple calculator. Uh, this will help you through other uh, high risk work licenses as well when you're doing your calcs. Don't buy the 50 cent one because the 50 cent one will give you some real wild answers. Just get the $4 Crazy Clarks special. Mention my name, they might even give you a discount. All right, so. <coughs> Let's get down to our problem. Can I lift the following loads? The pallet is 1165 millimetres long and 1165 millimetres wide. So that's a standard pallet, yeah? Uh, let's work out the load centre distance. The distance from the face of the forks to the load centre of gravity. So if we put it on there, what's it gonna be? So how do we do that? 1165 divided by two. 11.65 divided by 2 equals 582.50. That falls within that 600 millimetres. So yes, we can lift it according to that part of the problem. 1200 millimetres, 5. So 1200, I'll put the millimetres there too. 1200 divided by <coughs> 2 equals 600. So that's on the limit there, but we can still lift it. And then we need to work out uh, whether the weight, 
you know, the weight of the load is 3,000 kilos and the tear weight of the container is 3,800 kilos. So some people get a little bit confused with tear weights and stuff like that. The tear means just the weight of the container. The <coughs> weight of the load is the stuff inside the container. So let's look at this tissue box. The load is 3,000 uh, kilograms. The tear is 3,800 kilograms. The total is the load plus the tear equals 6,800. So the load can be the tissues, 3,000 kilos. The tear can be the tissue box, 3,800 kilos. Total, 6,800 kilos. So let's punch this in down here. So 3,000 kilos plus 3,800 equals 6,800 kilograms. So we can lift that load. And just for an example, if this was 300 kilos more, so let's add 300 kilos to 3,800. So 3,000 plus 3,800 plus 300 equals 7,100 kilos. We'd go over that maximum rate of capacity and we couldn't lift it. If these were over, uh, you know, if this was if this landed over the 600 millimeters, you cannot lift that load. All right, so that may seem pretty easy to some people, but I see this on a semi-regular basis when people are doing their exams. They will rush through and go, "This is easy, this is easy," and and, and rush through and then make a mistake. Unfortunately, if you make a mistake on your calcs uh, in your forklift exam, you have to come back next week because you'll be deemed not yet competent. Uh, so please read the question, practice the questions, get your teacher to give you some different examples. These loads in a distance are not always 600 millimetres, sometimes they can be 900, yeah? Depending on the attachments you use on your forklift and um, they may be less. Also, the maximum capacity will change. So obvious, for obvious reasons, we're not giving you the uh, exam questions. Uh, either here or in your student activity books. You will have to practice and get different examples and uh, keep writing them out. Don't forget to put millimetres and kilos at the end and also your reason. Why does this fall? Why can we lift this, right? The answer is yes. Why? 1165 divided by 2 equals 582.5 millimetres. It falls within the load centre distance. 1200 divided by 2 equals 600. It is within the load centre distance. So 600 is on the line, we can do it. 3000 plus 3800 equals 6800 kilos. It is less than the rated, uh, maximum rated capacity of that forklift. So write those reasons in when you tick that yes. Why or why not uh, will be the question there. Uh, Alright, so remember keep practicing. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helps. Um, coming to you from Hotel Quarantine, and that's Sam Outski.